Daniel McKenna here, and today we are here with Caleb Taylor and Clay Clark, who will be talking about the top 5% club. Kill everyone with kindness. Have you always wanted to be a top performer of your company? Learn some practical action steps that you can take right now to move towards that top 5% of your field and move on up the ladder to success. Let's not waste any more time and get right into this lesson. Clay Clark, how are you doing, my friend? I am doing awesome. My daughter has just learned how to moonwalk. Ah. And I'm telling you, as a father, you go, you know, you think about the list of things you want your kids to do when they grow up. Yeah. A lot of people are like, I would like them to go to college. Sure. I would like them to get married. I would like them, but, but, yeah, all that, all that, yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. Nice. I want them to be healthy, but I would secretly kind of want them to moonwalk. You know, I mean, that would be like the best. I wasn't mean, even that secret. Is that is that something that wasn't even that secret? Is that something that you know? Then you kind of quit. You quit for? dreaming, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like that's not possible. But I have a daughter who's ten who can moonwalk. My friends, that's reason to celebrate America Amen. and every other country. Oh, that's a great American right there. That's, that's a great American. That's, that's a, a great American. That's if you're watching this right now from like let's say Uganda. We have one guy from Uganda yeah, right absolutely. now. That moonwalk is for you. Perfect <laughs> example of a great American. So I love it. Okay. Today, Clay, we are talking about the top 5% club yep. with the secret move of killing everyone with kindness, okay? As we, as we dive into this, I've noticed that um, I actually read a stat from the United States Chamber of Commerce. Come on now. It says 75% of employees steal from their workplace and most do it repeatedly, okay? And that's still good. No, that's not good. And then we got another mystic statistic here. Forbes says nearly 60% of hiring managers say they've caught lies on resumes. Business News Daily says nearly 30% of employee surveys say that they've called in for work. Uh, you know, they called in sick for work when really they were feeling just fine. Now, if you're going to... Do you see a pattern here? If you you're going to focus pattern? on... If you're going to judge people for lying, cheating, and stealing, then I, I have to say, you're over here and I'm over here. Because right over here... We don't judge people for lying, cheating, or stealing. You don't. No, we we're moonwalking. We're just wow. boom, boom, and we're just doing the whole like moonwalking. And we're beatboxing. <laughs> we're, hey, hey, ow! We don't, we don't even have time for that. So you're saying I ain't that, got the time people for that. that are calling in sick, the people that are lying, they say, "Don't judge me. Only God can judge me." I mean, if you're if you're talking about if, if you're in business for the sole purpose of making a profit oh. and paying the bills, heartless. You're heartless, <laughs> gutless. So, um, so this. I've read a few statistics here, you know, that, that kind of reveal a pattern that we've seen in our Corporate society. Corporate bigot. <laughs> the last one that I'll read here is uh, pretty startling. You've, you've probably heard this one on Thrive before, but it's incredible. Washington Post says only 13% of people are actually engaged in their job. So we've got 75% of employees stealing multiple times. Whatever. A ton of people lying on their resumes. Who cares? A ton of people calling in sick. Well, when really they're feeling just fine. I wouldn't, I mean, probably just practicing moonwalking. 13% of people are engaged at work. This is a... Uh, Who cares? This is not the club we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You don't want to join this club. You want to join the 5% club. If you're only focused on profits, paying the bills, paying That's your mortgage, true. feeding your family. If, these if are you're in the pursuit of those stupid things right. and you're not focused on moonwalking... Right. So if you care about those things, making money, payments, supporting the family, this is for you. If not... Yeah, I mean, just um, this might out. not be a good site for you, honestly. Yeah, might not, and we'd be okay. With Capitalist that, pig. Here we go. This is what we're doing today. We're, we've got three principles. Okay, mm -hmm. the first one is what the top five percent look like. Yeah. Okay. The second thing is be careful, be thankful. Sorry, be thankful for carp. And the third is perspective: giraffes and turtles. Okay, That's what we're covering today. Okay. Let's do it. 